Our next question is going to be from uh, Café con Leche, is his name. Uh, you're unmuted whenever you're ready, Mr. Hello, if you hear me. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, Patty. Buenas tardes. So I have a quick question, but you just find it right over here. Sorry for the dogs in the background. Yeah. So whatever happened to this guys? I'm sorry. It's a, I, you. You sound like you're underwater and echoing, and there's a dog in the background. I. It. It's just sounding oh, like just one long oh, word to me. Yeah. Why don't we um circle back to you? Mr. Oh my god. Please and thank you. Okay. Wait, hold on. Was that you? That was me again. Yes. Oh, you sound much better now. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. Scratch that all over again. So long time, first time. You missed my Spanish speaking capabilities, but or right, whatever. My pleasure. Uh, what happened to the uh, to your Spanish show? I've, I've I was following it for a little bit, fell off, and uh, and yeah, just uh, explain to us. What, uh, what what went on? Oh, it was a 13 week um, show just based around the election, basically from from about a month before the 2020 election through the inauguration. It was designed to be kind of like a temporary thing. And uh, we we did it. We it ended. <laughs> we finished it. <laughs> OK, so w what was your takeaway from it? You being, you know, primarily a, uh, a an English speaker trying to transition into like, you know, the Spanish speaking kind of audience. My biggest surprise was the degree to which conspiracy theories and disinformation targeted to the Latino community. Yes. Successfully have invaded the Latino community. I mean, the, yes. the, the amount of Spanish language conspiracy theories and weird emails that I started getting when I did the Spanish show, it was genuinely depressing. No, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm a, I'm of Mexican descent, and I'm gonna get to that in just a sec. Yeah, I'm from Mexican descent, and uh, my parents are very much into like uh, into the president of or the current president Andres Manuel López Obrador. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to like these uh, these like uh, I I don't want to say that word, but I just say the fanatic sort of um, videos. Like you'll see a lot of like pro Russian propaganda, pro you know like Assad propaganda, things of that sort. So you hit the nail right on the head mm. on that. Now getting back to the Mexico thing. Whatever happened to Pedro, man? I don't know. We haven't. He hasn't called in for a while. Uh, you know, I, I don't know where he is. I would love for him to call back in. Yeah. You know what? Because he said he was from Colombia. And I, I always wanted to tell you this. He actually, you know, there, he, it could possibly be that he is from Colombia, but in Mexico. So if you go on the map or on Google Maps and you and you search for Colombia, Nuevo León, there will be a Colombia that's right next to the Texas border. <laughs> so that's just a little fun thing I found. I was just kind of like messing around online. And yeah, we'll look yeah, for him. We'll see if we can find him. Yeah. Well, anyway, man, mucho gusto. I hope everything's going well with you and uh, take care. Thank you so much.